I'm gonna say 10 minutes because I think you get uh, I think you get 10 channel points per minute you watch a stream now or something like that so if you watch this if you watch the stream for 10 minutes you can reclaim a every minute every 10 minutes roughly if I have the math worked out I might not who knows And I figured a hundred was probably good enough. Yeah, the bonus chest. Like, I know the bonus chests were 50, but I've been having trouble reclaiming bonus chests here and there, so. Like, I've had the bonus chest error out on me a couple times recently while I've been watching other streams. Okay. I probably don't need to be spending money, but here I am spending money. Oh, that's bunkus. Why'd they reduce it? They should just increase it for higher tier subs. They know people don't pay... They know people don't get a lot of tier 2 or tier 3 subs. Okay, enough faffing about. Let's go. So what do I have for quests? I have more of the Monster Mash. Uh, I have to try this again. And that's it. That still doesn't feel right, but whatever. I'm, I'm not Mr. Twitch. I won't. I won't sit here and fight it. Where is the? There it is. I'm just gonna do it for my car. It's safer this way. gonna sit there cool hello Tal Supremus that was that was you earlier I couldn't see names very well but because I was so far back but that was you earlier kind of giving me the motivation of honoring fit yeah well I'm done with this
So anyway, uh, I was saying something. I indeed was saying something, and now I've totally lost the plot. Well, it's probably not the it's probably not the greatest thing to be talking about, but it's the it's the one thing that's kind of come up and it's been in a kind of a central point in my life for for the last few days. So let's talk about it. Make everybody awkward. So you guys have been hearing about all these people that have been get kind of getting accusations out there against them, right? I'm not gonna say what accusations in case it triggers anybody. I'm just gonna say accusations. And I've been seeing a lot of names that pop up there that. At least my personal opinion. I don't know these people, so maybe they're maybe it's totally different. Maybe I'm being an asshole. A good chance of being an asshole. I know I have a tendency to do that from time to time. But a lot of the names I've been seeing pop up are people who I feel like are kind of fake in how they do things and kind of feel like it's a uh, karma coming back at them kind of thing. That's just me though. Again, I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to say what is going on, but just know that it's happening. And, but yeah, like I said, it feels like some weird sort of karmatic justice for me, seeing all this pop up about the, from these people. But then I also got to wonder, well, I watch my words as best I can, but I'm pretty sure somebody's also probably going to try- I feel like at some point somebody's probably going to take what I'm saying out of context and be like, Oh, this guy did this. Which brings me to the other other side of the coin that I'm, th I'm thinking about here, which is... Like, people have been... Where is it on the map? All the way around. Yeah, I haven't dug into it either. I just know that it happens, and of course, because I'll... Because all I really have to do with my days right now is work out. All I really have to do with my days is work out, work on videos. I finished up all my videos. And after that, it's keep up on social media stuff. Guess what I can only see? Guess what I can only see in my timeline now? But yeah, I kind of worry about... I worry a little bit about it for myself because people are probably going to turn it against me. But then I saw something else. It's just like, well, wait. Somebody tried to be a jerk about it. Somebody, somebody tried to do false accusations against somebody a while ago, I saw. And that person just kind of full-on shut them down on the timeline. Like, shut them down. Yeah, that's what I've been seeing, too. I've been seeing other... I've been seeing some other not-so-great stuff. And kind of going beyond just the pressuring bit. But like I said, some people are kind of there. I I kind of waited for this to happen, but it seems like some people are taking advantage of all this flare up and are now like just making accusations, just to try and chase some clout and to get. All oh, right, I forgot I did this. Uh, some people are making these accusations that of things that never happened. Just to try and get some additional clout, or to get somebody that they're jealous of, all, out, out of, uh, out of the limelight, so to say. I love doing that. It's a bummy, isn't it? Well, it's for some reason it's down here.
So yeah. I don't mean to bring anybody's day down, but that's like, I'm just like thinking of conversation topics and that's like the big one that's come to my mind. Yeah, it's above me. So I gotta get above ground. Oh, God, I love this. I finally have an ability that does, that lets me just kind of wipe the floor. I, I have now hit peak Krieg. I can just walk and be stupid. I do that anyway, but I can't just walk and be stupid. Your death. Something in my brain tells me I need to go underneath here and go this way to get to where I need to get. That worked. I missed. Yeah, up there. Okay. Now I know where I'm, now I know where I'm going. You just drop. Oh, chainsaw, thank you for the follow. Huh. Interesting. That is way too little of a shield, though. It's weird that my own notification kind of shocked me. It was just, it's just like, Duh. oh, hey, I got, a, hey, something happened on my, on my stream, lol. That's a big explosion. Sanctuary for weeks until suddenly they stop. I see. 
scorch marks all around the bloodshot gaps. No human could stop the bloodshot so completely, so violently, so beautifully. No one but a god could accomplish such a feat. Okay. Well, we did that. Uh, I guess we try and do this one now. How? Let's see, where is that? Oh, I have to run back through anyway. Run towards the run towards the unknown void. No. Hey, I said no. Shut, 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 shut up! This is the stupid, this is the stupidest perk. Uh, the, uh, the SCP, like, the SCP experiments stuff that, that uh, kind of spawn a weird, they're, like, all numbered and whatnot, and they have, you know, they have, all have different abilities and whatnot. The most, the most famous of all of them being the one that, uh, most favorite of them all being the one that basically, the moment you blink, the moment to blink it moves super fast, but if you look at it, it can't, it can't, it can't do a dang thing. Okay, that sounds like I'm on the same track. So no, I don't know too much about that, about all of it. All I know is that that exists. Also, let me pull my mic in. Hi, how's it going? So I know, but yeah, I know of the SCP's existence. I just never really messed with it because I am, I say it before and I say it as bluntly as I do because I want to emphasize a point. I am a pussy when it comes to spooky games. So I don't know much about that stuff. Like, to the, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I can't handle spooky games to the point where playing, like, playing uh, Star Fox, the original Star Fox, I can't play that game. I can't really play that game simply because the, the uh, Andross's face scared me as a kid and I, it's kind of like a childhood fear now. Soma, probably not. No, no soma, no amnesia, none of these. Great, it leveled up with me. Gotta run. What is this? What is this one again? Throwing grenades. I'm seeing red. What a fantastic black boy I've become. How? Ah! 
That'll do it. Uh, I have corrosion, but not a lot. Oh, hi, Dukino. It do be doing more damage. Oh, but three ammo per shot? No, thank you. Yeah, far. If I got some corrosion, unfortunately, this is it. I have a big boomstick, and that's all I got. Let's see, so now we go back to Sanctuary, talk to everybody, turn in the quest to Zed, and we begin the onslaught on the thing. <coughs> so something is, that's probably the coolest thing I will say about, something I will say that is probably the coolest thing about Borderlands 3 to me, it's, the, it's stupid but I love it, is that, um, is that if you're playing Mose, on her on her wrist? Did I get run over by the train? Look what happened. I was opening this up and I and I died. Sorry. But yeah, the coolest thing about it, is, to me, the stupidest thing is like, on Mose's watch, it, it shows the real time of the plants you're on. And it's so tantalizing, or so weird for me to watch, because just like, because actually like, the clock, the, the, watch, the clock does actually speed up and slow down time based on the rotation of the planet. Like, there's one planet where 24, like 20, a 24 hour day just comes and goes in like, two, it comes and goes in like 10 minutes. Where in other planets, it can take up to an hour for a 24-hour day. So it actually shows like the real time. It shows the real time of places while you're uh, while you're on each planet. So I don't know why, but it always, it always seems, it always, it's, it just freaks, it just, it's like something my mind defaults to when I've got nothing to do while, while waiting for everybody else, like mid-max is just like, oh, that's what time it is. Hi, Tannis. I generally have trouble verbalizing my thoughts into words that will not utterly confuse or nauseate you. I find my mental processes are now surprisingly focused. I have only two words for you. Perhaps the most important two words ever spoken on Pandora. Kill Jack. Here, this may help you in your efforts to put a hilariously large hole in Jack's face. I like I like hilariously large holes. So yeah, like if you if you have, I know you're probably done with your playthrough of every character at this point, far. But like if you t pick up Mose again, just like go to different plants and look at her look at her wristwatch. Successful genetic abomination. If old Hunter comes by, you make sure and give him my love, all right? What? No, I ain't gonna do that. I mean, wish him luck, Scooter. Uh, okay, that makes more sense. Uh, hey, man. Ellen and I were 
what's this talking about you? Now you, you make sure to come back alive, okay? If you can, come back with Jack's head in the pie. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear? What Scooter said. I want to hollow that son of a bitch's gourd and eat nachos out of it. Oh, nearly forgot. Ellie and I got something for you. Hope it helps. It doesn't, but thanks. They're nice. Hello, Great Gavin. Yeah. Everybody misses him. Meh. How do you keep that in there? Well, my old friend, I wish you the best. May you return from your quest with handsome blood on your hands and a smile on your face. Oh, and lest I forget, there you are. Thought it could be of some use. Not really, but thanks. AC kicked back on. It's a it's a bit warm out. It's we're finally hitting summertime temperatures here. Just as about to roll into July. Jack's monopoly on weapons is running me out of business. But that's not why I like, dead. It's been like uh, it's, at worst it's been like eighty something. It's only like low eighties for a day, but it's like been like high seventies almost every day. Good luck. Here, you might need this. Look at that pungent kill stick. Look at the punch and kill stick, kids. Look at it. I don't like it. Okay. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, weather-wise, it's finally gonna, like, weather-wise, it's now, like, starting basically tomorrow. It's gonna, the weather, the heat's gonna kick up, and it's finally gonna be, like, 80-plus out here, and I'm not looking forward to it. What else can I do for 12? Alright, let's go get- let's go get Claptrap so we can go yell stairs. Who's, re who's ready to hear Claptrap yell at stairs? I'm pretty sure no one. Cause it's Claptrap. Oof. That feels good. Are you done now? Has everybody had their fill? No, I never did. And... I never did play Last of Us. And I'm not too sure if... I'm not too sure if I'd be the best person to ask about how I feel about Last of Us 2. 
if that's kind of where the conversation's turning. Mainly because all I've heard about is they kind of botched the. From what all I've heard from upside people is they kind of botched the story in two. Like this, like the story one was fantastic, best story, and I'm glad they were happy. But two was just kind of cringy in parts, and they kind of destroyed the the integrity of the story of the series almost with with two. But again. I don't have a PlayStation 4. I can't play the game, so don't ask me. This is it, Minion. Our vengeance is finally at hand. Let's tear this planet a new soul. Yeah! Hyperion's gonna regret ever setting foot on Pandora. Minion, I'm gonna get that door open so I can take care of that handsome bastard myself. You hear me, Jack? You killed my friends! You destroyed my product line! I am the last clap trap in existence, and I am going to demand your court! Ah! Minion! Draw the fire with your face while I bump my way over to the door controls! Actually, this is pretty, pretty damn great. Great. I didn't catch him midair. Why can't I hit those? I didn't throw a grenade out in time, damn it. Many explosions. Well, that's fun. I'll show you what a badass is.
Oh, that's why there's a badass loader right here. I told you what would happen. Where? Boomstiff. Oh, that was fun. I hope everybody learned a lesson here today. Stairs. That one's better. Eh. I don't know. I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. Don't hate it. Anyway. Let's introduce them to Mr. Bang Bang. I don't care about my shield. Wrong way. Shot. You get the hell away from my friend. Oh god, is he screaming again? What is he not screaming? Damn it! We can't get through! Oh my god! Hold up! I got this! Go for a brick. I'm uh, I'm gonna scour what I've killed. Make sure I picked up all the greens along the way. You know, you know how it is. Loot. All right, there's a switch I can pull over here. Get that. Da -da 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 -da. You know what, they got it. So where did I start going? Oh yes, down this tree. T 
Tamal, she's fine. Also, hi, Tamal. I just jump. Brick, no, let me have that one. Where is it? I would love to stay alive, but here's the problem. Those turds don't like that prospect. Hi! Forgive me for flick shooting, so to say. Oh, you want to play this game? Hold on, I'm coming in. I can't come in. That's a problem. Hold on, Brick, I got you. I still got you? Still got you. Ow, something shot me. Wow, it actually just ate up my... I hate. Put down the shield. Oh. Brick's gonna take that away from me. Well, I'm dead. Brick actually took my second wind away from me. Let's go. go where? Oh, goody. Not that one, not that one, this one. I missed. I hit, um, damn it.
I missed. Let me go down up there. Damn it. There you are. Now, does everybody have their fun? What did we learn today? Continue to be stupid? Good, good job. You learned well. And sorry, no, we can't go get ice cream. We're still, we're still in quarantine. Otherwise, we'd be going, going to get ice cream because you learned your lesson. Can't break that. Wow, that is very good. Cause that's why I'm dying so much, because I keep, keep refusing to upgrade my shields, huh? Oh, excuse me. Oof. Those apple, those, uh, apple crumble muffins, they uh, decided to say hello again. Yeah, this one. I lose robots around, so this isn't very effective, but I'm still going to use it. Shoot the barrel. Shoot him, because he's slagged. Oops. Well, this is now a problem, isn't it? Shoot off these arms. Oh, look, you can't do a damn thing, can you? There we go. Let's take care of him. Go. Oh, he'll go down. And then we hide, suck the thumb. How are you not dead? How oh, am neither of you dead? Who wants the first slice? 
Give me some of that health, please. I can still hit you. Just not in the eye, apparently. Welcome to spacing. There we go. I'll let you take care of it. Thank you, Ladyfinger, for just having silly crit bonuses. Oh, there were dudes behind me this whole time. Who knew? Target acquired. Oh god, I went down instantly. God, my entire back just got lit up. So you know, I did I did ask and I never got a response. I asked, you know, hey, how many days do you think I'm going to be uh, how many days do you think I'm going to be out of commission coming up here for walking wise? Um because I did so because I did squats for Ring Fit today cuz we were at 5 days before. Can't can't jump that. Can jump this, I think. Trying it. Missed it. Invisible wall. Two. I got two days. That's the thing. And I know I said, I know I Twitter, I like promised, I promised almost relentlessly, no, I'll do more ring fit when I, uh, I'll do a ring fit every other day, at least in the morning, just so you guys have something to watch and so we can, that kind of thing. Uh, if I can't move, I'm probably not going to do ring fit. I'll probably still get in my elliptical back there, but I'm probably not going to, you know, do ring fit stuff. Also, I just realized my camera is... Either my chair sank or I am... Or my camera adjusted down. My chair sank. I need to replace this chair. I didn't... Uh, no, no lie, I did not see it. Just one hit in the brain. There's something up there. I didn't lead the shot properly. I just saw it. I just saw it far. Sorry. Middle of combat, you know, Borderlands combat. Once it starts, it doesn't stop for at least 10 minutes. Especially when you're at end game. Q Avengers theme. There it goes. Anyway, what was it? Are you really constructing more? Are you dead ass there, boy? I'm a great nana's interwebs. Of course it dropped a sniper rifle. Mm. 
But of course. Because why would it drop anything useful? But yeah, so... Back to that, though. I do want to... Fuck you. It's a bouncy shot. Well, my rocket launcher isn't going to do much in this fight anyway. Uh, but yeah. So let me circle back around to that because my brain just rebooted. So, if I... If I am of able body to actually do ring, ring fit in the morning, I'll do ring fit when I wake up and it'll just be a short like one hour is stream. And if I can do it every other day, great, I'll do it every other day. But if I can't, you know, if I physically cannot lift myself, I won't. But I do, like I said, I did I did try and promise, so I will try and act on my promise of actually doing those streams. Who gave Krieg a sniper rifle? Krieg did. Why did Krieg? Don't question things. So now I get rocket ammo. It won't be super useful in this fight. So, here's a question I should ask on top of this. When we get to the, when we get to the fight with the with when we get to this fight here, or when we finish this fight, I should say rather. Um, do we let do we let Lilith visit finish the job, or do we finish the job? Uh, it's a vote for Lilith. I will warn you. I will warn you for those that are like want to speed through it. Um, if we let Lilith finish it, we'll be sit we'll be sitting here listening to Jack for several minutes. This is where it all ends. Once Lilith here charges the key, I'll control the warrior and wipe you bandits off my planet. When you get to hell, tell your vault hunter. Well, aren't we cocky? Jack, it's not very fun if you run away, right? How's your face looking, Jack?
Your eyes are missing. I'm just gonna need this really quick. Hi, warrior. We I'm on high ground. Oh, you resist that. That's a problem. Simple. Ow. I love your blood. Stop twitching. No, put that away. I can fly. There he is. Let's just blow up in a hole here and oh boy. No, 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 don't go. He left. There we go. Rack, you got in the way. Why are you why are you running? Lilith. I know what I'm doing. That's nice. Just keep shooting that. Ladyfinger, open that up, and oh look, 2k crits, right there. There's that. You know, for as badass this fight is, it really does just get ruined by the fact that I can... Yeah, just kind of that. Go away. What are you doing up there? Go away. There he is. Done. No! This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Holy badass. I think you killed it. Never hurts to make sure though. Hit the button on the moonshot console. Okay. And 
there it goes. I've looted enough. I let him have his moment. Well, Lilith. Go for it. That was for Roland, asshole. Good going, Vault Hunter. You are a bad man. Now, gotta get rid of that key. We'll get there, Lilith. Hold on, there's loot. There's some money stuck in the ground. Ah. Uh. Trust me, that was necessary. <laughs> Just gonna poke my head around, make sure there's nothing else around here. Wow, money all the way over here, huh? How? Someone's gonna tell me these infinitely respawn or some stupid some soup like that. Whenever you wanna be done, kiddo. They stopped. Oh, I almost walked away from this. God fucking damn it, game! You can't stop me. That was a sniper rifle, right? I wasn't just seeing things. All right, I think we picked up everything that's worth it. Yep, almost walked away from this.
There's some money in the crevasse, but we'll leave it be. Let's see. Items. Over here. I said over here. What? What the? Oh, those vaults. Multiple vaults? <laughs> you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. And hold on. I'm not having this audio captured. So, here. Here's your replacement. You don't get a replacement. I just remembered. I turned. I just muted the desktop audio altogether. Ha ha. Me smirt. So hey, did it. That's Borderlands Three main stuff. Probably still gonna do some of the DLC. Ouch. So I will say, I will remind folks that, because, and I'm not generalizing, but I will say that there are some folks here. It's kind of over. There's still all the DLC stuff that I'm going to go through, but I'm depending upon if I'm going to, I'm wondering if I want to do that today right now or keep the stream kind of short. I'm kind of tossing it about in my head. But yeah, that's the main story. But we still have the DLC, especially the Commander Lilith DLC, especially. That was the free DLC for this game. But as I was saying a minute ago, I don't want to... Here, I'm going to take this off so, you guys get, so I get the same feeling you guys are getting. So, I don't want to single people out. Because I know some people... Because I know there are people who... I know there are people who don't have computers strong enough to run any of the Borderlands stuff. But I would like to remind you guys, because I know some people are also like me and are, you know, Nintendrones, as they call it. Why are you trying to launch the game? Uh, I will remind you that the Handsome Collection, I think is what it's called. Yeah, the Handsome Collection is available on Nintendo Switch if you would like to also play through base most of what we played through on stream here. So you can play So you can play Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2 and even the pre-sequel on Switch. And here's the awesome thing. Well, is it I'm not sure if it's on sale on Switch as well. I I know for sure it's on sale on Steam. Um, here's something else I will add into the pot of, if you have friends who, who have it on PC, uh, Gearbox has gone back, they've kind of dialed back, rewind the clock, so to say, and have gone, oh, hey, we can do cross-play on our platforms. So, yeah, if you have, so if you have the game on one console and somebody has another one, as long as you can find their, their, oh god, what is it called? 
What is Gearbox's service called? Not a subscription service, like their shift account, yes. If you can find your friend's shift account who are, who's playing on a different system, you can play with them. Across consoles. And it doesn't, and, I, and I'm fairly certain you do not have to be like, you do not have to go, oh, well, I played the game for so long on keyboard and mouse, now I have to, now if somebody plays with me on Switch or PS4, I have to play it on controller. No, it don't care. Like, just for example, I played through Borderlands 3 with Lucky, Tamal, and Gaia. Gaia was playing on a PlayStation 4 controller. It doesn't matter what controller you use when you play with somebody else. It does not care. In fact, I'm pretty sure a lot of people who have... If you do play with somebody who uses the controller, it will turn on um, sticky aim for you, which is what a lot of co uh, console shooters have. Just to help, like tracks, like help you track the body if you've like got a, uh, your cursor on it, it will help you like kind of help track the cursor on the body of whatever you're shooting. Actually, you got me curious. I'm gonna go look because I talked a big game about it just a second ago. Nintendo e shopadio. Trust me, this is just as awkward to witness right now because, you know, it's copyrighted music, especially with Twitch break, not, especially now that Twitch is having to crack down on it. I figured I'll just mute it out. Ouch. Hangnail situation. Let me see. I am on I am on my switch right now. Cuz I'm going to go look this up. Okay. So I got the information. I got the I got the four one one on this. So, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition is thirty dollars. If you get the Handsome Collection, which is let me see, oh, I see. I got it now. So. I'm going to look up Borderlands 2, or I guess it would tell me otherwise. Okay, so here's how this works. If you just want to play Borderlands 2, unfortunately, there I don't think there is a way to buy Borderlands 2 separately. You have to buy the Handsome Collection, which in, which, in, which includes all the games Handsome Jack is in, which is Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel. That is $40 on Switch. If you just want to play it as you go, Borderlands... The updated HD Game of the Year edition, whatever, that whole thing, that's $30 on Switch. Or you can buy the Legendary Collection, which is all three games, which is basically every, well, it's all three of the first three Borderlands games, main series Borderlands games, for 50 Still, that is, and, and, and I should say, I'm pretty sure all these purchases include all the DLC with it. Like, I had been playing as Krieg this whole time, who was a DLC character for two. And I'm letting the credits play out. Ouch. Whew. But yeah, this this whole thing's been kind of has been kind of a long time coming, I will say. This whole series, I guess. And I want to say a word about 
because pre-sequel is going to come up next. Pre-sequel was released after 2. Well, we're going to do the DLC for 2 when I get around to it, but we're going to do the DLC for 2, then pre-sequel and all its DLC cuz DLC cuz pre-sequel was released after was released after 2 and it's presented and it's presented as like a flashback memory so to say. But excuse me. It is presented as like a flashback of the events between 1 and 2. But it was really so long after 2 that it kind of helped shape a lot of what 3 is. If that makes any sense? I don't know. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm kind of talking on my ass a little bit. Needless to say, a lot of people talk crap about pre-sequel. I like pre-sequel. Man, this credit sequence, I forgot how long, I forgot how long the uh, credits are for Borderlands games in general. I'm still going to let it run out. But yeah. So, I guess I will say, I think my favorite character, to, I think still my favorite character to play as so far, like, I haven't played as every single character in Borderlands 2. I think my favorite character to play as is still Gage. Krieg was fun, but God was a huge build-up until he actually got to be, like, fun and fight however I felt like. Because until you get that bottom skill tree skill, it is just a slog. He just is just like this weird of things that you want to try and do, but you can't because you're not quite there. But once you get that bomb skill, it does tie the entire rest of the tree together and makes it exquisite. Like, with Krieg, I can throw a grenade, it blows up, it kills a small minion, he blows up, that kills more people, They blow. it becomes a chain reaction thing. And then I can walk around between the chaos and shoot whoever the survivors are. At least that's for the tree that I went down. Like, Gage's thing is, like, you know, like, the first few levels, the first few levels for Gage, they do suck because you're, because I run the Anarchy Tree, uh, Anarchy Tree always. So, shooting, you know, shooting, it becomes a problem. Instead of shooting at comfortable ranges, you know, 5, 10, up to 20 feet out, you pretty much have to be, hi, I'm shooting you now, and I might still miss. But once you get the whole bullet bouncing thing going on, it kind of overrides it and it become and it becomes fun again. I don't know, I feel like people could, yeah. I feel like people could probably enjoy the games in their own leisure, or enjoy the, their games in, at their own, at their own in pace or whatever, because there are builds that, um, build characters however they like, because, like I like I I generally tend I generally tend to favor you know close range characters, you know people who ex excel with shotguns and things of that like. That's generally who I like to play as a lot. But people like to play long range characters, you know sniper rifles. Uh, I guess assault rifles can fall into that tree. You know there are characters like that. Like Gage does have a tree for all that. Uh, Zero has a tree for that. Maya is like 90% that. <laughs> She's also support, so don't play Maya unless you're going to play with friends because it's kind of a bit, it's kind of a drag otherwise. <laughs> 
So yeah. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna take these off my head as I go through the voice cast. Oh. God, it's eight o'clock. Really? I'm surprised. I mean, I realize I started the stream like about 4.30. Yeah, about 4.30, but I'm surprised it's eight o'clock. I'm, not, I'm trying. I'm trying to. Well, while this goes on, I'm trying to decide if I want to like dive into the DLC today, or because we kind of hit a good stopping point, so to say, maybe to just let things be and you know get back to the hub, turn in the last quest, and kind of just let things let things be as is for now, and then come on the DLC next time I have a day where I want to just where I where I don't have anything specific I want to play. Yeah. Um, to rewind the clock, approximately three hours. For those of you that are that were here for the Ring Fit stuff and are interested, I will tell you that uh, that you know keep your eyes peeled, keep poking around. Because I have been seeing lots of tweets that are saying like you know Amazon has Ring Fit in stock, GameStop has Ring Fit in stock. You know, poke around if you want to get into the Ring Fit stuff. Poke around, you might find it. I will warn you though, it's gonna run you $80 not counting shipping if you have it shipped to you maybe not because it is $80 they might do free shipping because it's an order over 50 but it isn't but uh, the ring fit stuff is not cheap then again they charge $20 for a leg strap and a, res and a resistant plastic wheel I'm gonna be upset at myself whenever I happen to break that wheel, by the way. Or that, uh, the ring, I should say. Use its proper name, Scooter. I actually do still have, back from Mario Kart, Mario Kart Wii days, I still have my, uh, my Wii O. Uh, I still have my wheel lying around in storage here. I just haven't had a use to use it because I refuse to go back to Mario Kart 8. And, yeah. Did I say Mario Kart 8? I meant Mario Kart Wii. I'm sorry. My brain is very much not working. Also, I'm kind of sitting here debating if I want to just like kind of slow roll my day today. Because I told my I uh, my mother invited me out for lunch tomorrow, and I have my sleep schedule. I fixed it for all of a day, and now I'm back on my bad sleep schedule. I'm back on degenerate hours. So I'm thinking I'm trying to like de debate if I want to like slow roll my day now, just because. Well, I want because I want to make sure I'm. You know, tired and or exhausted by the time it comes for, by the time it comes for me to go to bed at a decent time, so I wake up and exercise at a decent time. Yada yada, so 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 on and so forth. And I've got nothing against degen hours. I got nothing against degen hours. Like I've lived them for so I lived them many years. But a lot of people, family and family and other friends, don't run on those hours. That I can't really constantly run on degen hours. But yeah, I want to take them up on the offer and go out for lunch, go and go meet them for lunch because uh, some some of my siblings are going to be there as well. I haven't seen them in like three months, and I haven't even gone to see my parents for Mother's and Father's Day just because. What am I going to do? Show up, say hi, how's it going? Happy ha Happy Mother's Day or Father's Day, and then scurry away again without taking them anywhere because we can't because of quarantine. Uh, oof. I would like to note that I'm actually sitting one leg over the other right now and it doesn't hurt. Which is actually a little surprising that it doesn't hurt. I guess I'm get I guess the ring fit has helped me get some of my flexibility back. Yes, I'm rambling. We'll get back into the game and everything in a little in a minute or two here. 
but I just do this with games. I let all credit be where credit's due. Oh yeah. Something else to, that I want to say. Mainly to Nera, because we do share these emotes. But uh, Nera, check your check your Lothero emotes. He has max. He has nearly maxed them all out. You have a lot more emotes in there. When I say nearly maxed him out, like he's got a. Uh, what is it? What was the whole thing? And I found this out. Apparently, when you get up to 10,000 subscribers, that is when you hit. When you get to 10,000 subscribers on Twitch, you have hit the cap for emotes. There is no going further beyond. Again, I'm rambling. Yeah, and I don't know who could, who has that many. Like, I know, uh, I don't know how big Siegel is, Farf, but I mean, I feel like he would be another person that could hit that margin or uh, give reason to increase it. Because I know I see a lot of Siegel emotes, and I know he has a lot of emotes, just because you seem to have a plethora at your disposal. But I feel like it's only got to be like, you know, 10, 20, like 10 to 20 people that ha are currently at the limit or are threatening the limit of emotes. At least that's what I feel like. So until they probably get up to like 50 people threatening the, the emote limit, they probably won't increase it or make another goal. Dear God. We have had a lot of just talking during this stream, haven't we? Or just chatting, I should say. If I switch the game if I switch the title over to just if I switch the game the game thing to just chatting, people probably wouldn't even be that upset. But well, whatever. As it said, as I say, it is what it is. Oh, I know I've said this in chats, in uh, private chats, but I guess I'm just kind of again. I'm just oh, we're almost there. I said this in private chats, but I guess I'm just mentioning it here. Don't be surprised if in the next like two weeks we go into quarantine part two. God damn it! Why is is that a Crandora mode or is that just or is that just Jess, was that a Jesse Cox's one of his emotes? Because I know he's been streaming a lot more now. It's Jesse's okay. There we go. My leg's stuck. <clears throat> Did you know if you put skin on skin, it gets stuck? Ow! I'm wearing shorts today, by the way. There we go, we get game volume back. Um, but yeah. So... There's that. And I guess we just get out of here. The normal way. Um... Yeah, what was that? Oh, that's nice. There we go. So let's get back to Sanctuary so I can kind of end this thing off. But yeah, as I was saying, don't be surprised in the next two weeks if we hit quarantine too, because there are places out in, I think, Virginia? 
Oh, hi, King Mall. I see meat muscles. I'm seeing red. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get my brain out of my butt in a second here. Yeah, it's like Virginia or something like that. There's been areas out there where they're going back into stage three. Or they're going back into stage three lockdown, so to say. Because people because coronaviruses are are spiking again. I missed. You know what? I'm about to air this out as soon as I reload. There we go. Yeah. Because, what is it? I think it was two, three weeks ago. A lot of businesses started opening back up. Like, the start of the June. A lot of businesses started opening back up. But people being people are like, oh, business are opening back up. That means we don't need these masks anymore and we don't need to adhere to adhere to guidelines to not touch people or touch their faces and all that jazz. Uh, sanctuary. Oh, wow. I got it right away. So it's spreading again and it's spreading even faster than normal. Like Texas is weighing the options of clo- and, well, the protests, yeah, those protests, but most of those people at the protests were adhering to the guidelines of wearing face masks and all that jazz, but you can only do so much when you're at a protest. Hmm. That's something I'll have to take care of in a minute. Sorry. Um. There's quests? Anyway. If you could stand still for a moment, I require something of you. Oh. With the warrior defeated and Jack lying in a pool of his own blood and fecal matter, you might think Pandora is safe. You are wrong. I built a seismograph out of rusty so, metal and mucus, and it tells me now? that a creature of considerable yeah. power somebody's got to deal with all Pandora. those new vaults. You will destroy Dibs. it. You can't call dibs on hunting hundreds of vaults. Says you. What you thinking, Lil? I think before we head off to deal with those vaults, we gotta rebuild. Get a new shield for Sanctuary. Wipe Hyperion off the map. And bury our fallen. Jack may be dead, but we're not done fighting. Not by a long shot. I hear you. What you think, Bree? I think I already called dibs on the vault hunt. Brick is a, uh, yeah. You've been listening to those Hyperion newscasts to say you're killing kids and kicking puppies? I found the guy who's recording them. He's in the air at Nexus. Pay him a visit and set the record straight. I could take care of this. Actually. I'll take care of this quest. Why the hell not? Uh, anyway. So yeah, there's that. Uh, just to kind of reporting what I heard. So like... They're, uh, Texas, they're kind of debating on reclosing businesses again because they they spiked like hella high. Um, I know at least in my county in my state, there's been a spike in cases again. There's been a there's been a huge spike in cases. So yeah, like you know, cases are just because people are idiots. So, don't be stupid. Wear your face mask if you got one. If you don't have one, do what you can to get one. It sucks, but I went out of my way to go get one. 
Now, see, I was too young. I think I was too young or, or didn't care enough about the Spanish flu to kind of follow what was going on with the Spanish flu. So, forgive me for being... Forgive me for being, you know, oblivious to that. Oh, I never sold my stuff. Go me. I told you what would happen. Today Mark says, today hot trouble on the border world, listeners. Hyperion Truth Broadcasting has learned that less than a week. So let me get down here. See, I have any, like, uh... No accidental lights, huh? Was I just a green? That was just a green. That's done. We can go back, turn this in. Um. Yeah. Okay. Again, I'm oblivious, so I didn't realize that was a thing that was happening. Especially because I was definitely a child. Uh, definitely a. Well, not. I was actually older than most people in here, but. Definitely was a child who didn't care enough about the world issues. I just want to play my Vigigams. And have to deal, and probably at that time, excited to go to school. Did it. Good on you. Things should be a lot easier for us without that windbag spouting lies every day. Thank Thanks, you. Lab. <clears throat> I know, oh. Uh, how long ago? I guess I'm just curious. Was it like it wasn't like 20 years ago, was it? I feel like that's about how long ago it was. Oh. Ha. Huh. Long ago. Long, long time ago. Okay, I wanna look into that. Don't care. Swine flu, probably. Yeah, which, forgive me for doing this, but I brought, I brought that, like, that came up when I was talking with my dad. Uh, okay, so, oh, there it goes. Sorry. Um, but yeah, my dad is, my dad is a supporter, I'll say. But like we, we, somebody brought blood up on point. Let's see, blood overdrive, blood twitch, fuel the fire. Well, I have fuel the fire. Let's see, blood twitch, blood overdrive. I have not used either of these, so good, I can sell that one. When you think murder, think Marcus and I'll go put that gun in storage. But yeah, like, like my dad is a supporter, so like people have brought, but what are you gonna, like, he's failed. My dad kind of went on the whole, but this Obama with a swine flu is just like, and the swine flu lasted three months. This is still going on. This is still happening. Anyway, I'll get off my I'll get off my soapbox and all that jazz. Cause nobody, cause I didn't, cause you don't, you don't come to a stream to get political about stuff. You come to a stream to forget about your day and all that jazz. Actually, one more thing I want to do here. This is probably about the right time to do it. 
Because I have money. I don't know how much it is, but money, go money goes in. She didn't give me the gun. Must have gone too fast or something. Nope, there she goes. And let's see if I can get the other one while I'm here. There it is. There, now we have Moxie's good touch. So hey, here's the part that's fun for you guys that want to post your uh, loot emotes. So, both of these guns that I just picked up, they vibrate. They vibrate your controller in uh, various ways, we'll say. The bad touch is a dull rumble. The good touch is a very strong rumble. And there you have, a, you have one, uh, go Elite Blush. So anyway, uh, I think with that, yeah, we could, we did for almost four hours today, despite the fact, sorry I missed you guys on Thursday. Sorry I missed you guys on Thursday, by the way, I never did mention this. I missed you guys on Thursday because I literally slept for like 20 of the 24 hours I was awake on Thursday. Or 20 of the 24 hours that were available on Thursday is probably the better way to say that. It was like, like I stayed up late that night, yes, but it was like, okay, going to bed at 4.30, wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, okay, let me start my day, nope, this isn't worth it, go back to sleep at 10, wake up at 1, okay, oh god, I've got a headache, oh god, well, I'm gonna go back to sleep, back to sleep, wake up at 5, I still got a headache, you know, I'm gonna go, and I try, but I was like, okay, you know, I'll power through it for about an hour, let's see what happens. Nope, didn't work, went back to sleep at 7. Woke up at 8.30. Well, I'm too late to stream, let me just tell people I'm not gonna stream. Stay up for an hour and a half, well, I'm tired. I'm going, I'm gonna go to bed. Back to bed at 10 o'clock. Woke up at 2 o'clock yesterday. Okay, now I'm up. Yeah, yesterday was, my sleep schedule was weird the last two days. I slept for almost 20 hours on Thursday. Oh yeah, I took Tylenol. It didn't help though. So I think it was a sinus headache. So it kind of knocked me out. So my day was just kind of screwed from that point uh, with that. But yeah, like yesterday, I woke up at 2 a.m. It's like, okay, good. I'll just I'll just start Nipple my day salads. now. I'm just gonna. Nipple salads. Nipple salads. Creek, please. So I just started my day that way, at 2. Um, I took a nap at like 7 o'clock at night. 
But other than that, I pretty much stayed up from 2 a.m. till 5 a.m. the next day. Or I guess today. Oops. Anyway. That's enough about me. Um... So, uh, yeah, but I started to wrap things up. So, we'll we'll uh we'll play some more. We'll probably play some more this come Monday. Um separate it out from Ring Fit streams. I don't know at this point, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there and burn it otherwise. Um I before I start stream on Monday for this, I will research what order the DLC missions came out in, or the DLC story packs came out in, so I can do them in the proper order, quote unquote. Even though there is no proper order, I want to do them in the proper order. Nera. <laughs> Nera. Please tell me you're on phone, Nera. Please tell me you're on phone, because H and L are nowhere near each other. Okay, you are on phone. Good. Uh, anyway. So yeah, I'll research the order of the DLC. I'll research the order of the DLC stories, and we might, and we'll probably start doing the DLC stuff at that point. Um. But anyway, did anybody have any questions before I end off today's stream? This is kind of a weird one. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna split it. I think I'm gonna split the uh, just talking segment into its own segment of today's stream. So that will be a weird highlight. Um, well, anybody who has questions, who has questions, wants to do that, I'm gonna go. Let me go. See who's streaming right now, so we can go dump on them. Oh. So let's see. So a lot of people are streaming right now. It would it would re be it would stand to reason because it is Saturday. So my brain reset. There we go. So I'll start from the top. Scott Falco. He is he's playing Smash. I should say. Scott Falco's playing Smash, but it looks like he tried to do his get laid percent again, which he just released a video on. But yeah, he's he uh so he's playing Smash at the moment after that, so he's probably he might be on a wind down potentially. Uh Botanic Sage is also playing Smash. Uh Ultranic is playing Mighty Gunvolt Burst, which is a Mega Man esque game. Gamma Lad is is uh, streaming Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. I don't know if the game's out yet or what, so take that as you will. Uh, Charles is streaming art. He's working on, from what Tyler says, he's working on some commissions that he's uh, getting set up for Yoshiller. But he might work on one of his own personal animations after that. Uh, Slim Kirby is playing Dragon Quest XI. Yeah, he's pl he's playing the game blind for the first time. So if we go raid him, don't backseat game, yada yada. I've made this spiel before. You know this at this point. Uh, Snack Attack Eight playing Super Mario sixty four DS. I don't have a preview for whatever reason, so I don't know if he's still going or if Twitch is being weird. Uh, Kiddo is playing Grand Theft Auto Five, and Metal Kick is playing Sakura Wars, the new Sakura Wars. So let's run down the list again, shall we? Scott Falco and Botanic Sage are both playing Smash Ultimate. Ultranic, Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Gamma, Friends of Mineral Town. Charles E. Bernardo, Arting. Slim Kirby, Dragon Quest. Snack is playing uh, Super Mario 64 DS. Kiddo, Grand Theft Auto V. And Middle Kick, Sakura Wars. What is the vibe? Snack just finished? Okay, that's why. Uh, I will, I would like to 
error towards Charles at this point, just because he has raided me a couple times and he hasn't been he hasn't been able to stream recently. So I fear figure you know spread the love. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's go raid a Charles. Uh, I'm gonna turn his stream on and mute it. So if you have, I will say if you have the emote, uh, if you have my emote, just hit him with the uh, smug Frederick. If you don't, just say hi, be nice. But here we go, let's go raid Charles. And reminder, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do on Monday, if I'm going to continue the Borderlands stuff, or if I'm going to find something else to preoccupy my time with. We'll see when we cross that bridge. Anyway, thanks to everybody who came out to this weird cacophony of streams, of stream topics we kind of jumped around. And I shall see you on Monday. Take care. And stay cool outside and stay safe because of you know, reasons we talked about earlier. I'm rambling. Have a good have a good night, folks.